Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another review on my channel today. I've got an excellent product for you. I've actually had this product now for about a month and uh, am super excited about this thing. So let's get to it. It's a flashlight. An awesome flashlight. This is the Olight S30R Baton. Um, I don't even know where to begin really about this thing. It is just an awesome flashlight. It is rated at a whopping 1000 lumens on its max brightness. Um, I'll go through, it's got five different modes of lighting. Uh, mode one is 1000 lumens, it's rated at one hour. Uh, mode two is 600 lumens, rated at two hours. Mode three is 100 lumens, rated at 10 hours. Mode 4 is 20 lumens, rated at 26 hours, and Mode 5 is 1 lumen, rated at 720 hours. Uh, this light is uh, impact resistant to 1.5 meters, which is almost 5 foot. Uh, it is waterproof to IPX7 standards at 1 meter submersion. Um, the length is 4.69 inches, bezel diameter is 0.98 inches, so just shy of 1 inch. The weight is 2.6 ounces without the battery. Uh, since it's a rechargeable, that weight really doesn't mean a whole lot to me because you've got to have the battery to use it. So we will get to this. What comes in the package with this? You got a couple little end things there to hold it still. Nice little packaging. Uh, this is uh, peg hook style packaging to it um, for display purposes. And uh, there's a box down in the bottom. Inside that box you get the rechargeable base, which is a USB base. It's got the USB in there and then it also acts as a USB port so you don't lose the port on your computer device that you're using to charge it. Comes with a short, uh, looks like about a foot and a half USB micro to USB cable. Comes with a little accessory bag with a couple of O-rings, a sticky pad, can't hardly see it in there, it's a little triangle that's the same shape as the base of this thing uh, cut out around the feet. Uh, so you can stick it to a table or to your dash or something like that. Um, it's got the installation instructions for that inside it. <clears throat> You've got a nice little uh, catalog of their current products, goes over the uh, specs or some of the specs on them anyway. And then you've got the instructions. Always good to read the instructions. All right, so let's get to the light. Um, this thing is just phenomenal. It is, uh, it's not a tactical light. There is no button on the rear. What you see here is actually a magnet base. Um, I'll try this at home. So it will sit there. It's not a super strong magnet, but it will stay there if you wanted to use it for lighting surfaces. If you're upside down with it pointing straight down inside a metal cabinet toolbox or something like that, it actually holds a lot better than sideways, uh, but it will hold. <clears throat> but that is not the primary use for it. The primary use is that it uses that magnetic base to charge. And all you do is you'd have this plugged into your USB power supply and then simply drop the light right on it. It centers in and you would have an LED here, red is charging, green is fully charged, and uh, you're done. So basically this can sit here on your desk, just pop the thing down, get up in the morning, grab your keys, grab your flashlight, put it in your pocket and go, ready to go. So inside this, just get your spring, looks like a uh, o-ring or a threaded in surface for that battery that would be sealed. You've got the Olight battery that comes with it. This is the 18650 rechargeable. Uh, theirs is probably the best on the market. It's 3.6 volts at 3400 milliamp hour. Uh, extremely good battery. I've ran this thing out a couple of times now and uh, I mean it it just it charges up flawlessly and it charges up relatively quick. You've got a really nice metal pocket clip that actually recesses a little bit into the pocket so there's very little of this light sticking up out of your pocket. A little over a half inch, maybe five eight, somewhere in there, uh, sticking up out of the pocket. So not much to really be noticed by anybody. Um, 
that clip rotates around so you can put it in any position you like uh, as far as the road the orientation of the button this is your button here um, let me go through the functions here gonna hold it push and hold it down brings it into the first mode which is the one lumen I actually think that this is brighter than one lumen I've got other lights that are rated at like 8 and 15 lumens and it's there seem to be about the same brightness uh, in the dark so push it and hold it and it'll step up one more push it and hold it again it'll step up again one more time takes you to the normal high mode press it twice takes you to turbo mode that is the 1000 lumens and it is just absolutely blinding um, the high mode is actually almost exactly the same um, even though there's supposed to be 400 lumens difference between the two you can tell the difference but it's not super super noticeable the the, the high rating on it is uh, is very nice and then you push it three times takes you into strobe mode again takes you to off and you would push the button hold it the low ones will come on and it'll go off and that puts it in lock mode in lock mode press the button nothing happens it indicates a little red indicator there letting you know that it is in lock mode also that red indicator uh, will be illuminated when the batteries are getting low and you're about to shut off the bezel itself is a smooth bezel and if you can see the little blue ring in there, that's actually an O-ring that glows in the dark. After you've run the light for 30 seconds or so, it'll probably glow uh, a greenish color for about 15 minutes. So if you turn the light off and you're in the dark and you drop it or whatever, it's just a little something to help you uh, find it without too much of an issue. Uh, if you drop it and come back an hour later, it's probably not going to be glowing. But that is the light in a nutshell. It is aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, Olite has uh, come a long way in their manufacturing and their quality. Um, so far, I can't complain on their uh, new line of products. This thing is great. Um, it is a uh, Chinese import. Um, but like I said, the quality is excellent. Has a five year warranty on it. So I'm going to roll in some footage of uh, this thing in use at night outside and uh, please leave some comments and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you think. Again, this is the Olite S30R Baton Rechargeable Flashlight. All right, it is nighttime. I'm out in my front yard and I'm going to turn on in low mode the Olite S30R Baton. That is low mode. I don't even know if it's got enough for the camera to focus. There we go. That is a, a seam in my concrete driveway. It goes across. That is actually only about five feet, four and a half feet from the camera. And you can see as that kind of fades out, really can't see much as it gets up. Nothing reflective out in that area. And so that light right there, pretty much not enough light for the camera to focus, and that's about seven feet away. So I'm going to step up one. That's your 20 lumens. Get the edge of the concrete for some contrast there. And it focuses in. You can see a telephone pole that is a utility light pole. The light is out right now. You can see the edge trimming of my next door neighbor's house. Just barely an outline. I can see most everything about the house in pretty good detail with my eyes. I don't think the camera's picking it up. We're going to step up one more notch. Now I can see everything with the house. Even in the camera, it may not focus all that well, but you can make out the house. There's a privacy fence. Oh, there's the focus. You can see the trim, the gutters, all relatively clear. Next step. There we go. That lights everything up like a nice big floodlight. And where the TV antenna mast is over there at the corner of the house, that is about 125 feet away. 120, 125, somewhere right in there. Back down to low mode. I'm going to double click. Takes us into turbo mode. That is 1,000 lumens. Actually, I, I think the actual number is about 987, something like that. But it was listed as 1,000 in the specs. 
and the stuff way back there in the corner is uh, about 300 feet away and I can easily see it with my eyes the trees that are actually across the fence and out of the yard the back edge of that barn structure up there is about 225 feet away tree line back behind the rental or the next door neighbor's house I mean, it's just amazing all right and then we're gonna go and see if the strobe will show up there we go that is the strobe mode focus uh, isn't going to work too well with it but all right that was the s30r baton rechargeable 18650 light from olight thanks for watching